What's good YouTube, this is Jay Stacks and today is a, just a quick uh, tutorial on some tips and tricks in FL Studio. Now this one is MIDI lag, like a lot of people use MIDI to make their beats and they find out that when they try to record it lags. Now there's two ways about this, it's very simple. When you first open up FL Studio, go to options, go to audio settings now you see where it says the buffer length buffer length i have mine around 2000 2000 um what's that smp a lot of people when they, they'll have theirs around 4800 even i've seen some people have it about here now let's say i have it about there look what happens when i hit something on my keyboard I don't know if you can tell the difference but it's kind of slow it's kind of slow the time it takes from me to hit the note for the computer to actually receive it is not as fast as it, I'd want it to be so with that being said with that being said what I do is take the audio and I put it back down to like 2000 so now once I hit it it's, it's instant it's just instant. The moment I put my finger on it, the uh, FL is receiving it. Um, and yeah, that's that's one way of stopping um, MIDI lag. Another would be to download the ISO 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 for all version two, which will change that. And then on the show panel, yeah, you can have it at 512 samples. So technically for me I'll just leave everything the way it is now and it works it works fine but usually I use my fast track I use my fast track to uh, use my MIDI and that's it that's a very simple tutorial on how to improve how to reduce lagging in FL Studio if there's any tutorials you want me to do or cover just comment in the description Thank you for watching.